What's up guys, my name's Trevor. Welcome back to the Arctic Vet YouTube channel. Today, we're gonna be working on this beauty here, a 2004 Saturn Ion 2. And it's got the 2.2 liter motor in there. So we're gonna pull her over into our little workshop and get to work. We got some oil changes to do. I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to do that and show you the tools and everything in between. So let's get to it, roll that intro. Oh, right. It's a manual. Be sure to push that clutch all the way to the floor. Wiggle it five times. Oh, yeah. And then drop that e-brake. Before we begin this process, the tools you're going to want, you're going to want either a pick or a flathead screwdriver. You're going to use this to take off O-rings. A 15 millimeter socket to remove the drain plug. And last but not least, a pair of channel locks unless you have a wrench that will fit your oil cap filter uh, filter cap on the top there so let's begin the process now something that I do is take the dipstick out and then we're just gonna set it down and then take the oil cap off and make it nice and loose just leave it like that and then we'll go under here and we'll drain it There we go. But this is going to fill this up so I got to hold it. After we'll go ahead and let this finish draining and then we'll move on to the next step. Now that that drip is stopped, we're going to go ahead and screw this in by hand. And I'm going to put my 15 millimeter back on it and tighten it a quarter turn. That's it, a quarter turn. There we go. The plug is ready. Now it's time to go up top and do the oil filter. Now for the filter, you're, we're back up top here and you can see right there that is our filter. So we're going to use the channel locks. And if you got the right size wrench, you could do it. I don't, so channel locks it is. Once you get it loose enough, you can go ahead and use your hand and pull that thing out. And yep, that is a black filter. Whew. So on your cap here as you can see there's a little o-ring you're gonna want to replace that as well so we're gonna and take that off set it over there and then we'll slip our new one on <clears throat> also there is a little o-ring that'll go on the top of there just like that one and then we'll connect the two and we'll be ready to put it back in now we got that put on the o-ring so we're just gonna click that just push it on yep just like that do the, do the Dairy Queen test. Stick it back inside there. Screw it on. And again, I'm going to get this hand tight. So it's nice and hand tight. And then I'm going to do a quarter turn with the channel locks again. Just like we did down below. All right, so now we've got our funnel. We're going to take that oil cap off, set it to the side, stick that right there. Wait a second. We may not need the funnel. It'll just make it easier to pour it in. There we go. We got it all filled up. And check the dipstick. Four, four and a half quarts got it to max and it says that you should put in about four to uh five like almost five so 4.97 is what they say um, anyways she's good to go we're ready to get her off the jack stands put her down start her up and move on to the next thing so if you guys enjoyed this video or if this video helped you out smash that thumbs up don't forget to click the red subscribe button i will help you with your next how to have a great day god bless don't never give up, God is here with you yeah. You are a child, nothing but love is true Just got it fixed in view, keep your eyes on the prize That's life everlasting, only through Jesus Christ He came to die